Ministers conclude his answer. I call the member for Dunkley. Member for Dunkley has the call. Thank, thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Minister for Health and Aged Care. With today being the inaugural Headspace Day, will the Minister update the House on the important work this organisation does and reaffirm the Turnbull government's commitment to youth mental health services? Yeah. Minister for Health. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Can I thank the member for Dunkley for his question and congratulate him? on an outstanding start as the member for Dunkley, including his strong representations to me about MRI, palliative care and indeed Headspace. Mr Speaker, it was actually the coalition government that established Headspace ten years ago when Prime Minister Howard and the member for Sturt had a vision to provide a much needed service on the ground to young people aged between 15 and 25. Ten years on, the Prime Minister, I and Many, if not all, members in this place have not lost sight of that vision, and that is why we continue to make the commitment that we do to Headspace. It's vital for young people to know that there's a door through which they can go which will never be the wrong door, and that's the philosophy on which Headspace is built. We know that a quarter of all of the people Three quarters of all of those who suffer from mental ill health are under the age of 25. We know that young people are overrepresented in the suicide statistics, and we know that those trends are increasing. We are therefore absolutely committed to the reforms in mental health, some of which I outlined yesterday. We will guarantee funding for 10 new headspace centres, bringing the total to 110, uh, a really solid foundation from the 30 that were announced 10 years ago. We are driving a national approach to suicide prevention through 12 regional trials, and we're continuing funding for six early psychosis youth services because we know that although there may only be 160,000 young people with severe psychosis or mental illness, it's important that we do the very best we can by them.